I'm going to speak for 30 minutes, and you're going to listen for 30 minutes. And if you get finished listening before I'm finished speaking, just sit quietly and wait for me to catch up. <laughs> I studied much of the work of, uh, of Freud. You have heard of Freud? Yeah? And uh, Jung? You have heard of him? Jung? Yeah? And Tony Robbins? Yeah? <laughs> and all these people. So, it's important to understand why people hate you in order to get people to fall in love with you. You like this yourself? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> Rene, is that right? Yeah? yeah? These are the ones who take their clothes off at parties, so if you, <laughs> if you ever get invited to a party at Rene's place, <laughs> well, you must go there, I tell you. The concept of the golden rule, of course, is if you treat other people the way you want to be treated, then they will be good for you. What do you think? Will it work? Yeah? It doesn't work. I show you why. Please have a look at this rope. You can see now they're all the same lengths, right? It's true. Look. See what I mean? There's one, there's two, there's three, all the same lengths. Yeah? No, no, please don't clap. I have a big finish. Yeah. What happens if he treats him like this? There's so much left out of the relationship, you see? You understand? Yeah? It's not just a trick, you know. Of course, the reason, the reason why I did this trick is because I need the practice. But you've got to understand how they want to be treated. And the good thing is, you know, there's only four different types of people out there. So, uh, we're going to talk about that, but just... I'm sorry, what is your name? <coughs> Could you stop uh, disturbing me, please? Me? <laughs> I'm trying to do something here. <laughs> And I said, so, uh, I'm not aware of your problem. Why don't we start at the beginning? And he said, okay. In the beginning, I created heaven and earth. <laughs> so he said, straight away, I knew what his problem was. If you had to press, it doesn't matter which number you press, no one's going to answer anyway. <laughs> Some guy said to me one day, he said, doctor, nobody understands me. I said, what do you mean by that? <laughs> There's a group uh, I know of, it's very good, it's, um, it's for people who weigh more than 150 kilos, it's called Immensa. <laughs> and apparently they think it is their manifest destiny to fill their entire auric field with physical form. <laughs> but uh, for my liking, I think they're just a little bit too militant. You see, uh, every week they have uh, what they call a variant. And if you fall below 150 kilos, they send you to confection. <laughs> and they say, Go and sin, go and thin no more. <laughs> right, it's a good one, I like that one. I tell it to my com they love it, yeah. And she says to me that one question that you don't want any woman ever to ask you. The one that is a no-win situation. You know the one? Does my bum look big in this one or in the last one? And I'm thinking to myself, do I want to be in trouble? <laughs> so I said, uh, is this one. She said, what do you mean it looks bigger than this one? I said, the last store was smaller. <laughs> she said, no, you idiot. I don't mean in the store. I mean this dress or the, pre the previous dress. I said, oh, it definitely looks bigger than this one. I said, well, why would you want to have a bigger bum? She said, I don't want a bigger bum. I want a smaller bum. I said, well, in that case, let's go to the magic shop. <laughs> I do have a book myself, actually. Uh, it's called uh, uh, How to Have a Great Life with No Money. Uh, you can buy it, it's $125. <laughs>